We need to have a little talk. Stay put. Look, I've talked to you about this, and other people have talked to you about this, and you're still doing it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop. That's right. We've talked to you about this over and over, and you're still doing this. That's right, folks. Many of you are out there still trying to set the hook using circle hooks. Now, again, there are some circle hooks out there on the market that allow that feature, but most of them do not. Circle hooks are one of the best catfishing hooks out there on the market today, and they're just excellent excellent hooks if you know how to use them properly and they're safer for the fish these hooks simply turn in the fish's mouth and usually catches right on the side of their of their mouth there and making it much safer for the fish less hooks swallowed by the fish so you don't have that belly hook up down there and uh you know, and, and all these fish are destroyed. This allows us to enjoy this sport, get that fish off the hook, and return it safely back to the water if that is what we're doing. Uh, now, obviously, if you're taking a few fish home, that's fine too, and, and it really doesn't matter, obviously, then if they are gut hooked or not. But as a rule, we want to release probably the majority of the fish we catch, especially the quality fish of mature age and size of, or reproduction age uh, that, that packs great genes. We want to have them out there reproducing and can't continuing to build that stockpile of good quality fish out there for us. So we want to do it as safely as possible when catching these fish. Circle hooks are perfect for that. Again, they have the big gap space, perfect for live bait or cut bait, or if you're using chicken, chicken, liver, whatever, there's plenty of space here uh, for your bait that still allows for the hookup. And again, it catches that fish in the corner of the mouth. That is if you're not setting the hook. Again, on circle hooks, what you need to do is when that rod starts going down, is you just want to reel down on it as quickly as possible and let the hook do its job of hooking that fish, okay? It is doing the hook set all by itself or maybe with a little help for you as you crank down on it. Again, that's how you want to properly use a circle hook. The best thing to do on a circle hook as well is also snail those hooks and that will help in the setup or hook up of your fish again let's stop and break that habit of trying to set the hook folks i hope that helps you out with circle hooks and how to use them properly again habits are hard to break and uh we have to work on that it was hard for me at first too and now I am sewed on circle hooks, and I'm not going back. Simple as that. Guys, I hope this helped. Be sure to subscribe uh, and give us a thumbs up, too, on this. And uh, we'll, me and Miss Tammy will see you soon back out on the water. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.